Well, Colorado is moving forward with a new process for holding oil and gas companies accountable for the cost of cleaning up old wells. Tonight, we're following up on how it's going. Denver 7's Angelica Albaladejo takes a deeper look at a small town taking a stronger stance. The town of Frederick is one of the fastest growing communities in Colorado, but that growth is running into some obstacles, old oil and gas wells. The developers are coming in and saying, we, we hear you, Frederick, we know you want amenities and opportunities here. We just can't afford to plug and abandon these low producing wells. Tracy Kreitz is the mayor of Frederick. She wants to hold oil and gas companies accountable for cleaning up after themselves. This isn't just a town of Frederick issue. It is a state issue and, and we have to band together and work together to, to bring a, a positive solution to our state. That's why Frederick and its neighbor, the city of Decono, spoke up this week at the That's new financial assurance hearings held by the state. Colorado's top regulatory agency for the oil and gas industry, the Energy and Carbon Management Commission, is still in the early stages of rolling out this new rule. The whole intent of the financial assurance rulemaking was to make sure that industry is taking care of itself and that the liability doesn't fall on taxpayers. Kate Schwartz represents the industry as president of the American Petroleum Institute's Colorado chapter. I'm really hopeful that it becomes kind of a blueprint for the rest of the country. But the hearing this week showed Colorado still has a lot to figure out. I think this has been really confusing, not just for the public, but for the commissioners. At the hearings, commissioners were meant to decide how much to collect in bonds from the company KP Kaufman. The commission estimates average plugging and cleanup costs at more than $100,000 per well. But in this week's hearings, KP Kaufman said they can do it for less than $40,000. It's a small, a small, minute amount to an oil and gas company, but it's everything to the town of Frederick. We do not have hundreds of thousands of dollars to remediate spills, to plug in abandoned wells, and to set our community up for safety and economic development in the future. KP Kaufman has at least a thousand low producing wells in Colorado. That means the wells are near the end of their lives and will need to be plugged in the coming years. Frederick is home to more than a hundred of those. At times that's led to problems. We've had about 17 spills over the years with KP KP Kaufman in particular, some of those sites have not been remediated and they haven't been held accountable for those spills as well. The state has accused KP Kaufman of repeated violations, but the company has yet to pay almost $2 million in fines. The state ordered KP Kaufman to clean up more than 70 well locations by August 1st or stop operating. Instead, the company is suing to block the state's order. Last month, a judge agreed to pause that order until the company's lawsuit is heard. That's left towns like Frederick waiting for cleanup, including here at the Grant Tank Battery. Earlier this year, Colorado fined KP Kaufman for alleged contamination of soil and groundwater. It's just 800 feet from an elementary school. Situations like that have environmental groups worried. Their pattern of avoiding paying these regulatory fines for these accidents, for these spills. It's troublesome. Alexis Schwartz with Colorado Sierra Club said low producing and inactive wells like KP Kaufman's are also big polluters. While these oil and gas wells are allowed to continue operating, they emit a, a higher proportion of methane emissions. But Colorado's commission will need more time to figure out its new rules. Confusion led to disagreements in the hearing this week between the commissioners and their staff, the company and the local governments. So the commission decided to pause this hearing and come back to it in two months, giving them more time to set the right precedent. Reporting from Frederick, I'm Angelica Albaladejo with Denver 7.